Now this guy did eventually get his mouse. He's almost done with his first mouse. Hopefully by the time he's done he'll be ready for another one. I'll get him one more or two more. Try to get him st striking on video. And now that he's in food mode he should have no problem getting another mouse for me. But he is just an awesome snake. Awesome feeder. Hopefully I'm getting a good shot here. watching them eat. That's enough of Shaggy for now. I'm going to show you my uh, corn snake who's getting his mouse down, chomping on it. This is my snow corn snake. He is getting his mouse down. He killed it. And he usually eats something about this size every week. One, Either one or two this size every week. And he is just about just getting past the arms, taking maybe another 10 minutes to get it down. And he is just an awesome feeder, except when he's in shed, he doesn't eat then, but that's normal. So he is just an awesome feeder. Nothing is about three or four times bigger than his head. You can just see it just how much bigger than it is, how much bigger it is than he is. That'll just he'll just, he just eats that every week. He just, he, he's a lot bigger than he was like two months ago because I even started feeding him this, these two months ago. Maybe like double his weight, but that's my uh, a snow corn snake trying to feed my albino. Let's go see him. It's dark over here. I don't think he's going to. He's been a trouble feeder for me for a while, but I'm going to give my sh Shaggy another mouse. See what he does with it. And there he is, right on it. See the S position? Just totally ready to strike with his neck like that. Just totally ready. And there's my coastal. Got his mouse. A rather bad position, but he's taking care of it. Got him to strike. Got him on his next mouse. Probably gonna eat one or two more. And that's it. Here's this guy. Got it about down to the thighs already. Didn't think it would have taken that short a time, but he's quick once he gets past the arms. Hard to judge. Here's my corn snake. Maybe just sizing up his food. I don't know if you can see him because it is pretty dark in the over in this corner of my room, but he's attacked a mouse once. <laughs> the mouse like bit him or something, he let go. But see if he'll try again. If he doesn't eat it, eat now, try feeding him later on tonight. Because it's he's just coming out of breeding season, so he might eat, he might not, so I'm going to go check on my ball python who is in shed right now in a different room. He is my breeder uh, male ball python. Looks like he might have, he may not have. No, he has not. He has not. I can see the mouse from over here. Probably just struck at it like ten times, but oh, he's going to bite me if I put my hand in there. Bite me. For first, I'm gonna bite the mouse if I can. Yeah, just a strike. Don't bite me. 
He's in shed. He usually eats when he's in shed, but he'll bite me. I'll put a good bit, but a bite. Yep, just a bite. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave him alone. Take this mouse out of here. What I find funny is that the mice think I'm killing it, but I'm actually saving them. Let me take them out of the snake's cage because they won't eat. But so I'll go on, maybe feed this to Shaggy or something. Feed him to Shaggy. So I'll go on in here. Has not gotten his mouse yet. Starting to eat his second mouse. Starting to go towards the head. And finishing probably his only mouse for the week. So that is my second of two videos. Possibly three. I might do one more, but that's all for now. See you later.